of the temptations of our day is to have a sentimental understanding of forgiveness. And yet forgiveness is core to our salvation, central, vital to our salvation. When talking about the parable of the unforgiving servant, St. John Chrysostom focuses on a small detail. He says, as Jesus explains the parable, he says, as the master did to the servant, sending the unforgiving servant off to be punished, so my father will do also. Notice St. John Chrysostom says that Jesus doesn't say our father or your father. Unlike when he teaches us to pray, he says, let us pray our father. Here, Jesus says, my father will do likewise. Because when we are malicious, when we deliberately refuse to forgive, we give up the fatherhood of God. We cast ourselves out from his love. We turn away from God's forgiveness. And in the context of the parable, St. Peter says, well then, how many times should I forgive? You know, seven times seven? Believing himself to be just and righteous in saying such things. But Jesus says, no, we must forgive 70 times seven. What St. Peter has done here is, though, try to show himself righteous in being willing to forgive, he still set a numerical limit to forgiveness. And in Christ's response, we see that forgiveness must be limitless. It must be infinite. It must be perpetual. We are called to forgive without end. But St. John Chrysostom says, even if we were to achieve this, and who amongst us can say we have, even if we were to achieve this, to, to forgive infinitely, to forgive perpetually, we must recognize that even such a love and forgiveness would fall infinitely short of the love of God, the mercy of God. And St. John calls us back to this parable. He says, when we look at this parable, it reminds us of the different types and levels of forgiveness. Too often, we judge ourselves by the standards of men. We judge ourselves in comparison to the forgiveness and love of other men. How easy it is to do so, he says. We must compare ourselves, judge ourselves against the standard of God. And similarly, St. John Chrysostom says, look at how we sin. We sin in secret, but when we know other men, other people are watching us, we turn away, we don't sin in public. And yet, knowing that God watches us always, we continue to sin. And St. John Chrysostom says, we sin against God in so many ways. When we are cruel, unforgiving, the servant who received the forgiveness of his master and then refused to forgive, not only sinned against the other servant, he sinned against his master. When we fail to forgive our brother, our neighbor, we are sinning against God. God, who has forgiven us so much, who has given us so much, who has created all things, made us, brought us into being, given us life, given us the, the beauty and joy of creation, crowned us in glory and honor. And when we sinned, gave his only son, his son who we rejected and crucified, and even then was willing to forgive us, to offer us the treasures of heaven, and we sin against him. So in this parable, we are the unforgiving servant. But St. John Chrysostom goes further. He says, just as the, the servant who refuses to forgive meets out to himself his own punishment through what the master's response is, so we too harm ourselves when we sin against God. We too, when we refuse to forgive, damage ourselves. When we are cruel to others, we are directing ultimately cruelty against ourselves. And similarly, when someone harms us, is cruel to us. St. John Chrysostom says it is an opportunity to receive great blessings because when we can forgive great harm done to us, we 
store up for ourselves treasures in heaven. Our example is Christ himself. Even as he was crucified, dying on a cross, he prayed for the forgiveness of those who did it. Saint Stephen, as he was stoned to death, he prayed for the forgiveness, for the salvation of those who murdered him. St. John Chrysostom says we are called to this level of forgiveness. How difficult is this? We must flee anger, he says. We must be patient with one another. We must recognize that everything that we do when we steal, when we suppress and oppress our neighbor, we will be the recipient of the fruit of this action. He who dishonors us disgraces himself. St. John Chrysostom teaches us. But he also reminds us similarly, we punish ourselves when we hate other people. Thank you.